Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Recently, I started uh, making videos on uh, class 6 uh, mathematics and uh, you know, it's a series of videos and I've already posted 9 different topics of class 6 which the students can uh, watch and uh, you know, you can get benefit from the detailed explanation of each and every concept in class 6 maths. So currently we are undertaking the chapter number two, that's whole numbers. And uh, uh, this is a very important video rather for all the competitive exams also. And uh, these are the properties of whole numbers. And you need to be uh, very, very smart in applying the properties of whole numbers. Because by using the properties of whole numbers, you can crack the multiple choice questions asked in various quantitative aptitude exams. So watch this video really, really carefully and start applying these properties of whole numbers to simplify huge calculations. And I'm sure you are going to develop very good speed of calculation if you watch this. And let me tell you that we have some very good offers going on on the ebook of short tricks containing around 350 different short tricks and 24 different topics of quantitative aptitude simplified for you in neatly typed 338 pages and it comes with video support so that wherever you get trapped you don't understand something you click the link watch the video and understand it then we have the reasoning course also an amazing collection of pdfs of reasoning course uh, very very much required for all the school exams uh, thus school students should uh, develop these reasoning abilities right from uh, grade 4 5 onwards cbsc practice worksheets so even for this lecture uh, currently which I am taking up the properties of whole numbers. This is the 10th lecture of class 6. Now I have bought up the practice worksheet based on this particular concept and the link of uh, this practice worksheet which contains 60 practice questions with answer key is given in the description box below. You can click the link, download it. I tell you, you the, the cost of uh, uh, that PDF is going to amaze you. You can count the cost on your fingers or you can send me a message on whatsapp if you are interested in buying everything like ebook of short tricks reasoning and practice worksheets everything then 9896369963 is the number you can pay a visit to www.sureshagarwal.in that's my name in the website uh, where you will find all these best offers so friends let's see the questions in hand the properties of whole numbers look at the addition problems given here if you see carefully, there are three digit numbers, four, four digit numbers and five digit numbers in the addition problem. But what happens when you add them in random order, like first added to second and uh, the result added to the third, you know, you spend a lot of time. But properties are going to help you here because you need to see which numbers end with a sum of, end with, end with. I mean the unit digits has a sum of 10. So if you are able to identify that, then this addition problem is going to uh, be a mental math problem rather than a you know, descriptive problem. So if you see very carefully, the number 279 in the first problem and 721, the first and the fourth. What is the sum of the unit digits 9 and 1? It is 10. And therefore, these two numbers can be added mentally. Yes, mentally. Seven tenths and two tenths. There are nine tenths and nine plus one is another ten. So actually, 79 and 21 forms 100 and already we have two plus seven, 900. So this is actually 1000. Now, if you can identify that, now all we have to do is to add 17087 and 1113. And that also is very easy. Why? Because 87 and 13, they form 100 again. And here you have 0 plus 1, 100. So that means you have 200. And 200 and 17 and 1 is 18. So 18,200 is the result of, you know, the sum of the middle two numbers. And you have a 1,000 here, which gives you 19,200 as the answer for this particular question. Friends, I'm sure you are going to enjoy these videos. You know, these are all methods which make you smarter, methods through which you can save time in competitive exams also, and you handle numbers very smartly. Let's see another one in which there are four digit numbers. 
look at this 3409 and the second one it ends with 1 2 uh, this is 2591 i'm sure you're going to add that very quickly how about 09 and 91 91 and 9 they add up to 100 right and 400 and 500 is 900 so 1000 that means 409 and 591 is going to give you 1000 and then we have 3000 and 2000 so overall we have 6000 this is how you need to think about the numbers see I, i'm writing everything there just to tell you how you have to think about the numbers but when you are trained in it you don't have to write anything you will tell the, me the answer directly likewise 6332 and 3668 you can see here 8 plus 2 is 10 and 6 plus 3 is 9 so 9 tenths and 1 10 is 100 and 6 plus 3 is 9 so 900 900 plus 100 is 1000 and 6 plus 3 9 again so 9000 9000 plus 1000 is 10000 and therefore the sum of these two numbers is 16000 which becomes the sum of all the four numbers which are given there friends pick up your calculators and check whether i've got the answer correct or not i'm sure you're going to be surprised by ease with which we are finding the correct answer let's see the next question here's a multiplication problem now what property can we use here 17 is a random number and 104 is very close to the base quantity 100 so what am i going to do here is i'm going to break this 104 into 100 plus 4 because that's very close to 100 and multiplication by 100 is really a easy job so i'm going to use the distributive property now the number outside the bracket is going to be distributed like this inside the bracket so 17 times 100 is 1700 and we have the plus sign here so plus and 17 times 4 if you know the 17 times table it is 68 so your answer is 1768 so you don't have to remember that uh, you know huge tables and uh, you don't have to carry out the traditional multiplication let's see 48 into 101 it's all the more simpler why because 48 into 100 plus 1 and 48 into 100 is 4800 and plus 48 into 1 is 48 which gives you the answer as 48 48 so 4848 is the answer so the distributive property works for us here let's see what works for us here 1817 minus uh, that's multiplied by 172 and then subtracted from something else do you see a common factor there 1817 1817 times 172 has this number and then minus 1817 times 72 also has this number so it's actually the converse of the distributive property so 1817 is a common factor among the two parts of my question so 1817 will come out and 172 will be left in the first term minus 72 in the second term so i have taken the gcf actually uh, 1 1817 is an obvious common factor so i have taken out that obvious common factor out and then i wrote whatever is left in the bracket so 1817 times now look at this 172 minus 72 is obviously 100 and therefore 181700 is the answer for the question you can try the next one i am sure you are going to get it 22038 is a obvious common factor because that forms the first, uh, part of the first part and the second part both so if you take that out you will have 42 left in the first part and 58 left in the second part and therefore 22038 will be multiplied by again the first rule i told you in the first slide 42 times 58 they end in ten, uh, end in uh, uh, the digits a uh, unit digits if you add them you know you're going to get a zero so 42 plus 58 is 9 tenths plus 1 ten that is 10 tenths or 1100 and therefore the answer for the question is 220380 so no need of lengthy calculations just the basic attitude development that's the aim of making all these videos for you i'm sure you're going to enjoy the practice pdf which i have already put on the website the link is given in the description box below click the link now download that practice worksheet and in uh, you know very minor very very minor cost you are going to enjoy and you are going to develop a very very good attitude as far as your performance in mathematics is concerned so friends the uh, videos which i am framing all these are for especially for the school students 
and all those who are preparing for the government competitive exams. So do share these video links so that everybody can feel benefited and uh, then you have to subscribe the channel. If you want to get notifications, you have to click the bell shaped icon. That's very important. You know, when you, you subscribe it and don't click the bell shaped icon, it's not going to work. Uh, it's not of any importance. So you have to click the bell icon and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a video on the channel. Thanks for watching this and all the best.